Anchor is a fantastic uh, platform for podcasting. It's it's so simple. It's uh, remarkable. Even I could do it. And uh, it's a uh, free distribution, free recording, uh, easy, simple, elegant to use uh, framework, great tools. Um, if you're going to pick one uh, podcasting form, a uh, platform, uh, it should definitely be Anchor. I highly recommend it. How to land your dream jobs. So... The first, there's two important points fundamentally. The first is tailoring. Um, I've learned in my company that most applicants, they write generic uh, applications and it's focused on them. Like, this is who I am. This is my resume. This is what I've done. And this is why I'm so great. And, you know, one step above that is to say these are the benefits that I've done for other companies, which is a little bit better. But a much better way to do it is say, it's to actually, instead of just saying, this is who I am, is to say, this is who I am relative to this is who you are. So it's tailoring. So what happens is I don't care. There's so many great people in the world. I don't care how great you are unless you're great for what I need as an employer. Um, so you have to demonstrate that what you are good at applies to what I'm good at. And if you have no knowledge or understanding or expression of what I need and what I'm all about. It's the same thing in a relationship. Like a lot of people say, spend the whole time talking just about themselves. They don't ask questions about the other person. They don't show an interest in the other person. They're like, why don't you want to be with me? I'm so great. I'm this and that. Yeah. I mean, you're not great if the other per- if you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> you know, it's like you have to, you know, know your audience, as they say, and uh, tailor yourself because... You can't just be a mind reader. Like different people want different things. And if you haven't studied your employer, if you haven't studied your relationships, you know, more generally in life, then you're not going to be the right fit. I'm not saying to change who you are to the circumstance. I'm saying to find the right situation, the right person, the right job. That's why I'm talking about dream jobs. So you have to first know yourself very well to be able to know what your dream job is. You have to like be self-aware. You have to do a lot of thinking. You have to analyze your strengths and weaknesses. You have to see what's worked for you in the past. You have to know where your future is headed, what your goals are. So once you do like that whole process of knowing yourself very well, then you can come up with a list of, of jobs that should be your dream job, but it should be very small because what it is is rather than just setting out like a generic application, you want to focus one or two or three companies that you can put a huge amount of time into your application and then do the follow-up necessary because people like follow-up as long as you're not you know, a pain in the neck. But whenever you do follow-up, whenever you do the application, you should always be presenting more value. People don't mind hearing from you if they're gaining something from it, if they're always learning something, if you're helping them with resources or telling them things that will help them accomplish their goals. Then it's not just about you. It's about... They want to use you as a resource, and that's why they want to hire you, because they want you to be a resource for them. So you should spend a a huge amount of time like researching the company to make sure that it really is your dream job, because you might be spending a good amount of time applying to a job that you think your dream job is, and then you get in the job if they're lucky enough to be hired, and then you find out, oh, it's not really exactly what I thought it was. I didn't study it enough. So they say measure once and twice and cut once. I'm not talking about action paralysis, where you spend your whole life just in research, but it's not the world is so complicated nowadays and fast moving that it doesn't help to just you know think that you can learn on the job. You have to know the job before you take the job, and if you don't know the job, you probably won't even be offered the job. So any kind of dream job is probably that is for you is probably a dream job for other people as well, and you can be sure that because every area of life is competitive that some people are going to have done their homework and do their due diligence and present a job application that's extremely tailored and extremely knowledgeable. So, you know, when you prepare your application for a company, you should should also be saying, you know, not only this is my research into the company, but look at the job description. You know, if if they list these four things as being most important, you have to demonstrate why you are excellent in those four things. And, you know, to demonstrate that, you have to actually be excellent because if you just say I'm excellent in these four things but you can't really articulate it, uh, why or how, then it comes across as shallow and not really real. So 
tailor your applications, know yourself really well. It's what your um, dream job is. Do follow up, but in a way that always provides value and makes it more about them and less about you. And um, just really rise above the level of the competition. Um, you know, just be such a good match of what they're looking for. It's kind of like everything is about matching. That if you are what they're looking for, both in terms of like who you are as a person and as a professional, and also how you've presented it to them so that it's obvious that you're the best match. Look, when people go into a store, you know, they look through different items and they're like, what's the best match for my need? It's the same thing with getting your dream job.